Hello friends, welcome to electronic circuit hub. So today we will understand about crystal oscillator. So in my previous video, we have already seen and discussed about the crystal oscillator. So in this video, we will understand how do we debug the crystal oscillator. Let's say you have some problem in your crystal oscillator and your crystal oscillator is not working. How will you find uh, that your crystal oscillator is not working. Let's say your microcontroller is not working. How will you find that your microcontroller is not working? There are so many reasons, but one of the reason is a crystal oscillator is not working, right? So we will understand what is the waveform, a real waveform appearing at crystal input pin and what is the real waveform appearing at crystal output pin, right? So let me draw, draw the circuit for crystal. So this is the microcontroller. Let's say this is the microcontroller. So let's say this is the microcontroller MCU microcontroller unit. This is oscillator in pin and this is the oscillator OSC output, right? This is the oscillator in and this is the oscillator out. So sometimes it is also called XTAL1 and XTAL2. So it is driven by let's say ground here and this is 3v3. This is 3v3, right? So if you connect oscillator in and oscillator out pin with your crystal, this is the crystal. Let's say this is the 16 megahertz crystal. And to drive the crystal, you need to have some load capacitance, right? So this is the load capacitance C1. And this is the load capacitance C2. And this will be connected with ground, right? So this is C1 and this is C2, right? So this is the basic circuit for your crystal oscillator. How do you connect your crystal oscillator with your microcontroller, right? This is microcontroller, which is driven by 3v3. And this is the crystal, right? This is the crystal. And this is load capacitance C1 and C2. Load capacitance uh, is used to drive the crystal. Right. So now if you want to check the waveform at this point, crystal input pin. So if you probe your CRO at crystal input pin, so this is the actual waveform I have taken for 16 megahertz crystal, right? For 16 megahertz crystal. So if you connect your CRO at this point, oscillator input with respect to the ground with respect to the ground this waveform will appear so you can see this is 2.13 volt from here to here but there is a dc shift of 1.2 volt around this is 1.2 volt and this is 0.8 volt right 0.8 volt 0.8 so this is 0 0.8 volt and this is 1.2 volt. So you can see the peak to peak value is 0 0.8 and in total with the DC shift it is having 2.1 volt. So at crystal input pin this waveform will appear that means your crystal is working. At the crystal output pin this waveform will appear. So if you probe your CRO if you probe your CRO here with respect to ground, you will get this waveform. That means your crystal is working fine. If you are getting this waveform, you can say your crystal is working fine and now you have to find fault somewhere else. So thanks for watching this lecture. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in comment section.